part of American life, sometimes treating yourself to a manicure or a pedicure. But now some surprises. ABC's Rena Ninen looks at what really goes on at some nail salons. Right here on the right side. Right here, right here, man. The new fashion statement on the red carpet. Nails with their own dedicated camera, the Manny Cam. You nailed it. <laughs> Thanks. Nail salons are a growth industry, now $8.2 billion a year, but there can be hidden dangers. Jennifer Schnipper would go twice a month for her Manny Petties until she got an infection. I was in extreme pain, uh, couldn't walk. At the hospital, a doctor immediately asked her if she had had a pedicure. She said, I guarantee you this is a mycobacterium infection that you get from pedicure spa baths. The bacteria had spread to her muscle. It had to be cut out in emergency surgery. We went undercover with hidden cameras to nail salons in New York and Houston. We found a manicurist cleaning her own nails and then using the same cotton on ours. That white chalk, probably someone else's dead skin. This razor sharp instrument banned in at least 45 states still in use. And get this, a rotary device meant to drill and sand wood. Sand, drill, and so much more. Used on a woman's foot. But that's not all, possibly living in those foot baths, fungus, E. coli, and other bacteria. This Arizona State Board of Cosmetology inspector checks nail salons. I'm seeing a lot of grime in here. This salon owner who says he's cleaned up his act will probably get a $250 fine. Experts told us the best protection is for the salon to use plastic liners and for you to have no cuts when you go in. Some basic precautions so you're polished and ready for your close-up. Rena Nine and ABC News, Houston. And you can see the full report on a special 2020 True Confessions tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern.